Hey guys, Misha Crossing here, back with more birthdays at the beginning. If you remember last time, we had a bit of a tragedy. Uh, a lot of my... The dinosaurs were doing so well. They were booming, uh, they were reproducing like crazy, like little bunnies, and then they decided they were going to die out when I started raising the temperature again. You might have just seen a surprise. Uh, and I mentioned I was going to play a bit off camera and I did just to shape the land a bit more and try to bring back some dinosaurs and it looks like I have succeeded. I've gotten um, one of the types of pterodactyls back. We had a couple still and we've still got our little forests of velociraptors over here and look we've got this fellow and uh, Lapras over there in the sea. It's the Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus, a dinosaur that appeared as, yeah, whatever, propagated. It maintains its enormous size by consuming plants that thrive in very hot climates. So it needs 41 to 51 degrees Celsius and 41 to 51 degrees temperature. And, uh... Well, the moisture over here is a little high for ya. Um, maybe I should dry it out just, uh, just a smidge. Maybe like right here. Use some... Yeah, just strong sunlight, not intense sunlight. <laughs> that sounds good. Alright, whoops. Hit the wrong buttons. Now Lapras over here, look! Wow, you were just right on top of the water. I feel like that's not a logical place for you to be. I feel like you need a little bit deeper sea. <laughs> yeah, it says height C, 40 to 50 degrees. All right, well, you're in shallows right now, my buddy, my pal. So this is a really annoying thing that Joey and I have, whoops. <laughs> you could just blop them on up here, making no sense. Uh, that yeah, Joey and I have noticed that animals will often evolve or spawn in places that make absolutely no sense for them to, that do not meet their conditions at all, even though there are parts of the map that meet their conditions. Um, they just don't care. They'll, they just spawn wherever they want to, and, uh... And then you either have to shape the land around them to fit their needs, or the, uh, they just have to die. Uh, which, you know, isn't ideal, so... <laughs> Guess I have to make this work for Lapras here. Just make some C. Not a huge deal, but whoops. Like it's not a huge deal to have to do every once in a while, but yeah, just why, why wouldn't a creature spawn where it's supposed to? Why are you floating above the what? Look at that. That's ridiculous. What is happening there? <laughs> Come on Lapras. I know you're a magical Pokemon creature, but I need you to get your shit together. Okay, I'm gonna create just a bit more of the sea out here. Give her nice big area to roam. Well, swim. Well, if she decides to actually get into the water. Still on top of the water currently. Look at her. Look at that dummy. <sighs> Alright, Lepros, that's enough C for you. And then we have one other new thing. Oh, this guy. Hello. A, uh, another type of Velociraptor. Equisitum. Equisitum. Wow, look at those colors. Adapted to very hot drylands. So I need 43 to 53, 1 to 10% moisture. You are just not where you need to be at all, my buddy, my pal. You need to be, like, over here. Even over here is a pretty... Pretty moisture-filled area for you. Yeah, maybe... 
I can just make the bottom of this mountain. Be like right here, make it nice and, and dry. Um, maybe, yeah, right here. Hopefully that will give this guy. I'm gonna try and close him off. Maybe it'll force him to go over there into the, the dry area. I wish also wish there was a way to just move creatures. That would also solve the problem of them spawning not in <laughs> the right area. Alright, I'm just gonna create a little fence for him for right now. Hopefully he'll wander into the dry area. So, the temperature- oh, and I moved- I used to have a cool stone up here on this mountain and there was a lot of stuff happening, uh, a lot of trees and stuff, but uh, eh, there just wasn't any- there weren't any animals coming up here and I really just wanted to mix things up. So I put a fire stone or flame stone or whatever that's called, warmth stone. So it just warms it by 10 degrees. So it is a nice toasty 51 degrees over here. Um, it hasn't been there for very long, so maybe once time passes a bit more, uh, more things will happen. Oh, I haven't even mentioned <laughs> this area on the right over here. So eventually, you can't even see it. Uh, eventually that's going to be a really big, really that's going to be a really, that's going to be a really big mountain. Uh, so, okay, let's just, let's, let's just go look at it and then we'll move time forward some. So, over here, I've got my work cut out for me. I've got the base of the mountain started. Uh, so after this episode, as you know, each episode, uh, the map expands quite, quite drastically. So I will have a lot more room to work with this mountain once the map expands, but it's going to take me probably the rest of the episode to finish just this part of the mountain anyways. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't really sure of the best way to go about making a mountain. Like I didn't know how wide the base should be because I didn't really know where it was going to finish being at its highest peak. So I pretty much just went through and raised these blocks of land until I reached uh, the mountain elevation, which the mountain elevation starts at 33, I believe. So I'm going to have um, I mean, a bit of an expanse. It's not going to be a whole lot of room in the mountain region. Um, definitely going to have a lot of highlands and a lot of uplands, but I'm just going to extend these elevations of land around to make a mountain. So I've already, like I said, already started with the base. Oh, just going to have to grit my teeth and, and do it at some point, but I've got the temperature where I need to be right now. Building this is going to lower the temperature like nobody's business. Um, not even my business. So going to wait for that because we need hot temperatures for the dinosaurs for now. So I'm going to slowly build on that, but I've got it. I've got it started over there. We've got it started. It just looks ridiculous right now. So let's move time forward a bit. I really hope... Um, oh, there went the Plesiosaurus and I even, I made... I, 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 I adapted the area to him. That's so sad. Maybe I'll... Shape it even more. Whoops. I mean, it just doesn't make sense when they spawn where they're not even supposed to. Don't get it, and I don't like it, and I don't approve of it, and I don't want anything to do with it anymore. <laughs> I mean, that seems like a good area. I mean, look at all of this sea over here. Could be very- the, the, the dinosaur could be very happy over here, Lapras could, but no. I had to spawn over in the stinking most shallow water in the entire place. Ugh. And then this guy over here, Brachiosaurus, is dying. Only 368 of them, that's so few. 
Uh, what do you need, my buddy, my pal? Let's go see what he needs. I need to keep him around, for sure. Uh, 41 to 51, birth moisture 10 to 64. Okay. Which is... Just too moist. It's too moist right here. Is what it is. So, yeah, I added a lot of, uh... Where the heck- Oh, he jumped over his fence. That bastard. That rat bastard. Fine. Has it even- I don't know if it's even gotten drier over here yet. Where did I put it? Whoops. Yeah, I think I put the sun thing like- where, yep, that's 15% moisture. Yeah, it's getting quite low, but yeah, he's just chilling over there. Whatever, boo. You do you. Hmm. Maybe I should just take away this river right here and bring this in a little bit. I don't know, because, I mean, obviously the, the ground's gonna have more moisture where it's closer to... Man, I spent so much time on this river, too. Ground's gonna be more moist when it's closer to water. So taking away water will lower the moisture and hopefully keep our dinosaur pal happy. Even though there are, I'm sure, plenty plenty of parts of the map that have the moisture and the temperature level that he needs, but he wants to be right here. So we're gonna make this area work for him, Diva Princess. Took away some water on this side, and a teensy bit of water on this side. So hopefully we're gonna get to a spot that has the moisture level, but moisture level buddy boy needs. But let's go fast. Oh god, what's happening? Hmm... Guys... Everything's dying again. <laughs> Let's go a bit forward again. Alright, the Brachiosaurus is increasing in population, which is good. Hopefully that means his moisture levels moisture levels doing better. That Velociraptor just went extinct because he was too dumb to go right back here where the moisture level was exactly what he needed it to be. Yeah, right here in this area. It's right where he needed it. But he was just a little block over and couldn't make the, the long trek over. <sighs> but at least this fella's doing well. 11,000. You had 18,000 a second ago. I don't know. Maybe I should take this away. Maybe I should just let this area... Be what it needs to be on its own. I can use some vigorous vegetation right here to get stuff moving. Oh, okay, so I picked up this rainbow coating. Earlier, it protects an organism from the environment, but also renders them sterile. Won't work on extreme environment changes. Um, so yeah, it'll just keep some organisms, population, whichever one you use it on, it just keeps their population steady. So yeah, protects them from from the environment, which is cool. Don't really have anybody to use that on yet. And I've got a couple of these mysterious glass jars where you can like save an organism's genetic information. I don't think I've used them in this playthrough, but it's really cool. I could just like keep the Brachiosaurus's uh, genetic info and transplant it somewhere else, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and save his info. So I've got it in there, and then I can just go wherever and place it somewhere around uh, the world, which is another way to get around 
uh, stupid organisms spawning where they don't belong. So you can move them to an environment that would hopefully, technically, be perfect for them. But who knows. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that just in case Buddy Boy decides to go extinct over there. As these dinosaurs are tending to do currently. <laughs> Of course. Of course his population is going down. Why wouldn't it be? Man, he is in like prime conditions right now. Maybe he needs a teensy bit more moist more moisture. Why can I not say more moisture? I just can't. I can't. I have to really think about it in order to say it. <sighs> Okay, I'm bringing a teensy bit of moisture back to you there, buddy pal. Anybody else that needs help? Maybe I should bring the temperature up to a good, good solid 45 degrees Celsius. Keep it right there. It seems like everybody that I'm wanting right now needs 40 to like 40 to 50 degrees or so. But, I don't know, I've been at this temperature range for a really long time. I've got different levels of moisture throughout the map um, and I'm still not getting, just still not getting the creatures that I need and it's very frustrating. But, I don't know. We'll just shape our world and Go with the flow. I just put a warmth stone here just to see. I mean, there's nothing really happening over here right now anyways, so might as well try to make something happen. Oh, I just feel like everything's gonna die. <laughs> it's just so hard to fine tune your world to get exactly right for all of these different creatures. <laughs> Brachiosaurus is going up again. That's good news. Just had to... Uh, uh oh. Let time go by a bit faster and get some changes actually taking effect, I guess. I don't know. <gasps> Tracer dips! dips! Oh my gosh. I have been rewarded. My labors. My labors have paid off. Come here, pretty items. Now where is my Triceratops? Tell me. Tell me where my Triceratops is. It's still over here. I've got so many items. I guess I, guess I did let a lot of time pass by. Oh, he's right behind me! <gasps> There he is, through the trees. Hello. Oh, come here. There we go. And what a pretty boy he is indeed. <clears throat> Known for its prominent horns, it consumes shorter plants than Brachiosaurus. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I like him. Very small population right now. But he can only grow. Awesome. Oh, hello! You think you're gonna climb this little hill here? Good, he's up to 23,000. That is awesome. And see, animals do stuff like this, where they, like, stand on one block of terrain and then their whole body is hanging off of the edge. Like, it looks very glitchy. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff like that that's a little weird, but... I want these trees to do well. I think I'm gonna give them water of life. Hopefully they'll expand some because it looks like the dinosaurs are really sticking to, except for this guy, uh, condensed areas of, of trees. So I just need to, yeah, because there's this little forest over here where the Triceratops is and some Eoraptors. Eoraptors. Oh, hello, another item. What is it? Oh, recovery leaf. Okay, should I... I should probably go ahead and use the vigorous vegetation somewhere. Maybe... 
Maybe out here. There really isn't a lot going on out here. Sure, why not? Might as well. Let me go see... Over here is where I used that warmth stone. Not really much is going on over here yet, but I haven't let a lot of time pass. So let's let a little bit more time pass. Triceratops, hopefully... Yay, and the Brachiosaurus are going to keep going up, which is awesome. Oh, we've got some trees that aren't doing well, which is kind of a bummer, but... Well, I guess it's not the main trees. Ooh, hello. Because they're still looking pretty good. Who are you? <gasps> it's a blue one! Hello, buddy! Yay! The tides are... The tides aren't turning. The tides are changing. Is it the tides are changing? Is that the is that the phrase? <laughs> Brachiosaurus that mutated to live in the shallows in search of food. Its diet primarily consists of seaweed. Well, buddy boy, you have hit the damn jackpot over here. Let me tell you here. Let me get you a nice even space to <laughs> walk around on. Because you looked a little confused, a little confuddled, a little bamboozled. So let's get... Uh, it looks like he's got plenty of room now, but we'll bring that up just a bit anyways. Yeah, let me bring this strip of land up. Give him... Yeah, I forgot how messy this all was over here. God, there's so much life in the ocean, though. Oh, we still have this guy? I love him. He's so funny. And, oh, DualShock 4 battery level low. Gosh darn. I love him, too. His little smiling face at me. Oh, look at him. There he goes. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> Alright, I really hope you thrive here, friend. Let me check the library and make sure he's got okay, he needs 43 to 49 degrees um, and shallows so he's got that so we're doing okay are these trees doing anything <laughs> I don't feel like it oh my gosh those guys have such a high population those little salamanders those newts proud of them they're going at it Triceratops is going up. Good. This makes me happy. We had a, a dying streak for a while, but we're doing well. I don't think we're gonna get... Mm, I don't want the Brachiosaurus to go down. Stegosaurus! Yay! Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> See, I just started increasing the temperature a little too high, a little too early. I think I need to... Oh, he looks so cool. I think I need to keep the temperature at a steady, like, 45, 44 degrees for right now. Get the dinosaurs really, really booming. Um, cool. He needs 41 to 51, 10 to 64. He is in his perfect spot right now. Cool. Yeah, just get the dinosaurs, the age of the dinosaurs, really, really booming. And then, because all of these creatures can adapt to a higher temperature like can get above 50 and I think the T-Rex only needs like 46 or 48 degrees. Yeah, what is it? Oh, but we need that that Plesiosaurus, the one that we got er earlier, Nessie, uh, Lapras. <laughs> yeah, so we need, that's really our next goal. Hmm. But hopefully since we've we've evolved a lot of other dinosaurs uh, legitimately, like without seeds and just meeting their conditions. Maybe Lapras will appear again in the sea somewhere. See, this is a good little expanse of sea. So is this. Yeah, this is all sea right here. This would be prime real estate for Lapras, but no. Hopefully soon, though. Hopefully soon she will, she will come back. Um, I need to get the temperature up just a smidge, just a smidge more. So let's, I don't know, just lower some of this land over here around this guy. Wait, did I say lower the temperature? I need to raise the temperature one. I really want to keep it at a good 45.
temperatures. Now at 45, I played around with the water enough, so let's move along. I think all of our dinosaurs are going up. Let's let a little bit more time pass. It was going a little slow. Okay. Yeah, Stegosaurus, Triceratops. <gasps> Yay! Oh good, we got Lapras back legitimately without having to mess around with it too much. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is! Yay! I was saying- Guys, I just said, I just said this was prime real estate for Lapras and here she is. She heard me. She saw my real estate ads on the side of the road and she stopped in and she thought, hey, so it's a buyer's market right now, I might as well. Okay, I don't have to capture her again. I've already captured her, but good. She's like actually swimming in the water. She looks happy, looks like she's in the place she needs to be. Her life's going well now. She's gotten it together. I am so happy for her. I want to use... Okay, I'm gonna let just a teensy bit more time pass and then I think I'm gonna use some seeds of mutation and see if we can get some interesting stuff. Yeah, because all of our- <gasps> Oh shit! Guys, oh shit, we got him! We got the T-Rex! Happy birthday, Tyrannosaurus! What immense power! As a reward, I will give you the fruit of knowledge. What? Oh yeah, I remember this. At last, it's time to move on to the birth of mammals. Specifically, the birth of a double bacillus. This is the first mammal. It likes to hide in the shade of the forest. The environments that support mammals and dinosaurs could not be more different. So as mammals, mammals begin to flourish, there's a high chance of dinosaurs going extinct. But I like my dinosaurs. I like my lab breasts. Could there be a deeper meaning behind the birth and extinction of these dinosaurs? Hmm. Like before, view game info and prepare the environment. Heck yes. Let's go into the world and see. Where's our T-Rex? Oh, there he is down there. He is in the gosh darn middle of the forest with everybody else. He is a little social butterfly, isn't he? He likes being around all the other dinosaurs. He needs the, he needs the support. You know, he's got a big head and little arms. A large dinosaur that attacks other dinosaurs with its powerful jaws. It appears in very hot climates as Plesiosaurus was propagating. Appeared in very hot climates. Sweet. Good. So he needs 10 to 64, 41 to 51 degrees. Um, yeah, he is also currently in his prime location. Oh, I'm so glad there's a Triceratops out here. Now. Wait. Oh, this is a different one? This is a different one. Oh yeah, his coloring's a little different. He's like a little bit more yellow. His spikes are brown. A triceratops that began to prey on small animals in addition to grass. Due to its divergent diet, it's adopted rather unique coloration. Heck yeah. Cool. He's come out here, joined the br Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus. I know, I, I can't pronounce anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't pronounce anything correct. So many items. Wow. Yeah, he's... Oh, there's a couple of them. Um, a couple uh, of the original Triceratopsises. Is... Do we have anybody else new? Was that it? Yeah, that was it. I've got a couple items in corners to get... Nope, not that corner. Wow. Okay, yeah. I really didn't think we were going to get the T-Rex. I didn't think... Uh, I mean, I really didn't think we were going to get the Plesiosaurus um, back as quickly as as we did. Jeez, come on. Whew. And the other item is in... It's really hard to figure out which way you need to turn. This corner. Is it up in the sky? Yes, it is. So weird. Yeah, sometimes, whoops, there'll be items like way, way up in the sky or way, way down underneath in the lava. Ooh, ice stone. Cool make things, that'll probably cool things off by like 20 degrees because it's probably the next step up from, so yeah, chillstone cools it by 10 degrees, ice stone cools it by um, 20 degrees. And so I think there's a, there's definitely a third level of the stone. Um, I don't think there, it goes up any higher than that. I mean, I might as well 
put these guys somewhere. Maybe over here? Yeah, I mean, it's got the conditions it requires. Might as well. Hello! <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we have so many dinosaurs. <laughs> So our next goal is the mammal. I'm not going to move on towards working towards the mammal yet, but let's see what we need. Just, you know, just to know, just to look towards the future. Conditions for the Adelo Bacillus, 35 degrees Celsius. Wow, yeah, that's like 10 degrees colder than it is right now. Moisture 10 to 60, close to trees. Minimum, <laughs> minimum 85,000 uh, paramesotriton. Paramiso Triton. Currently, we have over a million of them. They're probably those little newts or salamanders, I think is what they are. <laughs> so we just really need it to be a lot colder. I mean, I could probably just put a chillstone somewhere over here by these trees and get the mammal. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm really I'm gonna work towards the mammal in the next episode. So I'm just gonna let time go by a bit more, see if we can get any more dinosaurs. Oh yeah, I wanted to give um, some seeds of mutation. So let's go in the library and see what could possibly be mutated. Um, we still don't really have a lot of bugs. Um, I remember Joey started his own save file. Like we kind of, we pretty much played through our first playthrough together. And now we each have our own separate save files. And his <laughs> world has like the most insects. Um, there's just a ton of dragonflies and butterflies and it's gorgeous. And I think it's because he has water at a lot of different elevation levels, which is really good. Um, ooh, adapted to living in hot climates at mid elevation. So, okay, he needs uplands, which would be... Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, come on. I wanted to see this one. Uh, okay, so a T-Rex that appeared in scorching hot savannas. Its capacity for violence has not lessened and it will even attack large creatures. Oh, wow. So he needs 50 to 60 degrees. Maybe he will spawn where I have that warm stone. And then this one adapted to low temperatures. Okay, so 15 to 25 degrees. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and give some seeds. I'm just gonna give some seeds. Gonna give pass some seeds out to everybody. I don't see why not. I've got a shit ton of them, don't I? Yeah, I've got 15. Oh! Fruit of knowledge. A mysterious seed connected to the birth of the human race has no effect unless used on a certain species. So this is like the gift of consciousness, basically, is what it is. Because it's what separates, you know, us from apes is being conscious and, um, I don't know, working together in such a high capacity that we do. Um, and just, you know, being more intelligent in general. So I have to give that to, at some point, some sort of ape. But right now, we are going to keep our hands off of it and just use some seeds of mutation. I don't know what happens if you use the fruit of knowledge before or like on a different animal. Like, do you just never get it back or, or what? Who else was I going to use it on? I forgot. Oh, I guess we've got... Yeah, another one of those. Mid-elevation, yeah. Um, so let's use mutation on you. Do we have any uplands? I think... Hello. I think this over here... Okay, yeah. Up here's uplands, but it's 37 degrees Celsius. Maybe if we use a warm stone... Oh, okay, it needs 35 to 45. Cool. Yeah, so maybe he will spawn up here. That'd be so cool. Let me bring some land out just a little bit more. Maybe give him some more room to roam. Is this... Okay. 
So Upland starts at 8, T. Give him a little platform here. <laughs> That looks good. That looks like enough room for him. Okay, let's let time pass and see if we get any fun mutations, and then I will uh, wrap up this episode. Ooh, look at all the new things. <laughs> I love using a lot of seeds of mutation at once. Oh, look at this guy. He did not spawn where he needed to be. What a dumbass. What a cute, icy little dumbass. A differentiation of the Tyrannosaurus that has adapted to low temperatures. Yeah, obviously. That's why he's white. Like this snow. Uh, but clearly this is not where he needed to be at all. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why animals in this game do this. They don't spawn where they need to be. I guess it's just when you use a seed of mutation. <coughs> oh, Pardon me. When you use a seed of mutation, they don't spawn very intelligently where they need to be if they come about naturally. Like, what is this dude doing? He's just standing on one little corner. Oh, but he's cute. Oh, come here! This is the one that needs to be in the uplands, right? Yeah. Hot climates at mid-altitude. Oh, I love his coloration, though. He looks so cool. Awesome. Ooh, we leveled up! Heck yes. So that increased our... <gasps> oh, look how big our cursor is now. Ha ha ha. I feel so powerful. Cool. Uh, anybody else new? Oh yeah, there is one new one. So I'm really not feeling... Oh, look at our new Stegosaurus. Really not feeling working the land around these new mutations to... <laughs> make the environment adapt to them because they just didn't spawn in intelligently. That's their fault. So they're probably going to die out again, but I'm excited that we got to see them at least 43 to 53, 0% to 8% moisture. Yeah, he is not in his place that he needs to be either. He needs to be like right over here. He needs to be in here. Low moisture. I am going to end the episode here. I'm so excited. We've got the T-Rex. We've got a lot of dinosaurs. It is truly the age of the dinosaurs right now. They are booming. And next we're going to work towards getting mammals. Probably going to let the dinosaurs uh, thrive a little bit longer. See if there's anything else we can get uh, in this temperature range that we're at right now. Because mammals require a pretty drastic change in temperature. So I'm going to put that off for a minute. Hope you all are still enjoying this playthrough of Birthdays the Beginning. I post these every Saturday. I'm going to be playing until we uh, reach humans and get our civilizations nice and poppin'. So I hope you will stick with me through all of that. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.